Meadows. <laughs> Casey Meadows just like, well, I don't know. It's all right. It's cool. Whatever. Last night I was making Mob Psycho <laughs> Season Kishimoto 3 comparisons. Anything Ikimoto does is amazing. So I just for more Mob Psycho comparisons, For first of all, uh, Season 3 thing I forgot to say last night is there is just a straight up divine tree in Mob Psycho Season 3. That, like they call it the divine tree like every episode, which is hilarious. It's like they call it the Shinju. And so I this got to be like a <laughs> Japanese mythology thing that we should probably look into. But it's, it's funny that they just have it in Mob Psycho as well. No, it's it's not a tree. tree. Does stem from? Yeah, I'm sure. But yeah, because like, like I mean the Kaguya, I, I, a lot of this stuff is just coming from Japanese mythology. Long story short. Yeah, and obviously the Mob Psycho one is more like satirical because it's a comedy show. But yeah, um, <laughs> I don't I don't even want to say what it is, but it's not a tree. It's <laughs> stupid but um with that being said so an actual mob psycho comparison so mob psycho season two is one of the best anime of all time best seasons of anything ever and the first like eight episodes are entirely disconnected from the last like four or five to like, nine to 13 i should say uh so the first eight are like almost slice of life telling its own story whereas the last couple episodes are like they feel quote unquote like an anime similar to what tokyo revengers was doing if you remember i was describing that calmly how it felt more like almost like a what would be the word like almost like a live action drama until towards the end it got that anime narrative storytelling going for itself it felt like that's what mob psycho season two was doing but good whereas for boruto it feels like they're doing the the slice of life storytelling removing the anime aspects of it but without the good part of the slice, it just feels like the bad version of it to where they just don't know how to write it. So it's just not being written at all. Really. It, it feels more like it's a slice of life writing, but in the setting of a battle show. Yes. <laughs> That's a good way like to describe it. Like there's slice of life fighting. Yeah. 